Hey guys, I'll never believe what I found at Menards of all places. Check this out. Yo, 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 YouTube. So I found something this past weekend that I didn't even know existed or that I even wanted or could potentially use to flip, but I did at a Menards of all places. We were there for some home improvement type stuff and I stumbled upon these in the toy section and they were clearance. They were $2.99 originally, clearance for a dollar, plus they have the 11% rebate, so basically $0.89 cents a pack. So I became intrigued because I saw they were cards. So this is what they are. They're called Ushis, um, which are like the little toy. There's a little toy attached to the pack. And these are Ushis collector cards for DC superheroes. So you get 10 cards in the pack, and then you get the one Ushi little rubber toy on the bottom there. I did open a couple of packs. Um, I bought like 300 of these. I have bags and bags of them. And we'll book crack a bunch open here and, and take a look at them. But I did have to open one, of course, in the car. Uh, there is a special um, edition one where it's a gold um, Ushi. Ushis are the actual little rubber guys. The cards are just a card like collecting thing. They look like little Funko Pops almost. And there's a Black Adam gold uh, Ushi. And then there's a Black Adam gold card. I don't know if you can see that too well. But of course, the one pack. I opened in the car without filming it. Had the black Adam in it, and it was right the very first card when I opened the pack. So this was what I got in the pack. I opened a, a couple of packs now, but this is the gold card. So I looked a few up when I got home, and they actually sell pretty well. Believe it or not, the little Ushis sell well too. Here's a little reverse flash one I got out of a pack. Uh, here's the classic Superman I got out of that first pack. Actually, that's not the classic Superman. That's the 5250 or 52 Superman, I think. I don't know. Not as up on my comics as I used to be. This is, uh, I'm going to guess, I um, can't remember, Phaser maybe? Anyway, so you get one of those in each pack. So I'll probably, I don't really sell that kind of stuff, so I'll probably just lot those up and get what I can for them and then make the money on the cards but at a dollar a pack even you know even if you can pop a dollar on this you got all the cards for free so so what I did was I bought out the Menards we were at when we were there and then I had some other errands to run so I stopped at two other Menards in my area got a pretty good amount um, at each one of those so I probably ended up with like 100 120 packs and then uh, today we were heading out of town for a Father's Day activity and there was another Menards in that area. So I looked it up and they had 91 packs. However, I uh, stupidly said, I'm just going to run right in and grab those packs and check them out and get on our way. And I go in the store and there's nothing on the sh toy shelves. Not where I found it at all the other Menards. So I got some help and... Um, the employee didn't really know where it was, and they said it was aisle 912, which there is no aisle numbered that in the store. They don't go that high. So we were just perplexed. Well, we ended up finding them at the bottom of a toy bin. So I had five employees there. And my uh, very patient, loving wife digging through that bin to try to find the packs. And we actually found, we actually found 92. So they said there was only 91 in the store. We ended up finding 92. So I bought all of them there too. So. Uh, we've got, got quite a few of these. I think this is going to be fun. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at just some of the first cards that I got out of the couple packs that I opened. So again, that gold Black Adam, that's the ultra rare. There are paper cards in here. So like here's a, a Batwoman, modern day Batwoman, it's called. And here's a, here's a foil, classic Superman. So this is the good stuff. I think these, the foil... Foils will have a solid um, hobby to them. Black suit, Batman. Here's a Lex Luthor as a hologram. 
And Hal Jordan, the White Green Lantern, White Lantern. Shazam, here's the other foil. You get two foils per pack, so actually pretty good value there. And then the White Lantern, Batman. So lots of different characters. I think there's 60 characters in the set, uh, I believe. Let me see what it says on here. Yeah, 60 cards to collect. So definitely a good variety. Um, here's a few other ones that I open. I only opened three packs, so there's Poison Ivy, the Reverse Flash. I, I, this is one of the ones that I saw online right away as a sale, and it went for two and a half dollars plus shipping. So, and that's not even a foil. I really like this Joker with the ha ha ha's all over it, and you can see it's got like a like a raised printing on it, so it looks really cool on the card. Here's another Poison Ivy, but even like cards where there's multiples of a character, they're different, see? So like, see this is both Poison Ivy, it's even the same photo, but the card is different. And one is card number one and one is card number 31. So we're gonna have variations and stuff in it too, which is kind of fun. Uh, here's the Hal Jordan, but the foil version. Shazam Classic. And most of these characters have movies or are major comic book characters which will definitely help. Here's Batwoman modern day. I like that with the hair and the checkerboard background looks cool. Silver Age Batman. So they have some like old school comic stuff in here. Catwoman in the purple suit. Really like this one, the Wonder Woman foil, the red, white, and blue foil. Um, another Lex hologram, but it's different than the other one that I showed you. Here's another Hal Jordan. Uh, classic Riddler. You can see they're kind of Funko Pop style. I like this one, Penguin Classic, and he's in black and white. So very, very old school Penguin. Uh, reverse Flash, gold foil. I mean, how cool is that? These are awesome. Here's a, another classic, Clark Kent. The Superman there. Here's another example of these are both the Flash, but you can see they're two different cards. Um, here's another purple suit. So we're definitely going to get plenty of doubles, um, but as you guys know, I like to list quantity of stuff anyway, so that actually works for me. Here's New 52 Wonder Woman. This one I really like, uh, Lex Luthor in the hologram suit, but it's the foil, so I mean the hologram looks so much better in the foil. And then uh, Silver Age Batman. So pretty cool. Um, I figure we will crack a few packs, get that on camera, have some fun with it. And uh, I don't know, I'll list them later and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so several of the bags here actually have the, like the full box. So this is kind of how they sit on the shelf like this and then all the different packs are in it. And I just grabbed the boxes and checked them out that way, which is kind of nice and easier to keep them together. Obviously the last store, since they were all thrown in a bin, it's just giant bags and packs tossed in a bag. So um, we'll probably do those since they're gonna be easier to get to and uh, rip apart. They're extremely difficult to open, which is good in most ways because they're sort of tamper-proof. We did find two packs that was missing the Oshi and they were like cut perfectly. So someone must have stole the Oshi out of some of the packs. but. The cards were all in there and they were the card part was still sealed because it's sealed in between here. So I bought them anyway. For and I was mainly looking for the cards. Now I'm not main, usually a scissor pack opener, but like I said, these are these are tough. They're not meant to be opened easily. So I'm gonna do this. I'll cut it up, cut the Oshi off right there, so that we have just the pack. And then we can cut the pack open pretty easily. So this is first pack for this video we're opening. And we'll do the cards first, because we'll have them on camera here. Uh, we got a Captain Boomerang. That's pretty fun. And a ooh, Black Suit Superman. That's really cool. So like I said, they have a good variety. Here's another classic Joker. This is different than the other one. It doesn't have the raised writing on it. So uh, here's a 
New 52 Aquaman foil. It's pretty sweet. Cyborg. I always liked Cyborg. And New 52 Wonder Woman. So we saw the foil version of that one earlier. And then Modern Day Batwoman again. And the Classic Flash again. And then... Oops. Ooh, look at this one. Black suit Batman foil. How sweet is that with the gold foil? I thought it was the card was off or something because as you can see where they had like a built like a strange frame around it. Um, interesting. Supposed to look like a, a like a Polaroid photo, I think, on that black background. And then we got a classic Superman. Can never go wrong with a classic Superman. So let's go ahead and see what our Oshi is in that pack. Again, I'm not as concerned with those. I mean, it'll be super nice added value. Like I'll, I'll get, you know, I'll make some profit by selling the Oshi. So here's the Oshi in this one. It looks like we got kind of a classic Batman there. So all characters that sell easily, Batman, Superman, you can sell all day long, Flash, Wonder Woman. Um, so that was the main thing for me. I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be just a bunch of like sideshow characters. Not that, not that that doesn't um, have value. You know, lots of, lots of people want stuff that is not the main characters because there's so much of main character stuff made. But, uh, but for the purposes of popularity and being able to sell easily, not not so good. Okay, so here we've got a uh, Shazam. Uh, White Lantern Batman, we've seen that one earlier. Black Suit Superman, which I think we saw as a foil earlier. This is the uh, Cyborg foil, that's pretty cool with the fire in the background. Classic Aquaman, we saw the foil of that earlier. So it's kind of neat, you have the base version and the foil, there's a Superman Classic. Another Hologram Lex. Silver Age Batman. Who will like this in the foil? This is purple suit Catwoman in the purple foil there. So they did a really nice job with them, especially with the foils. And then there's a 52 Wonder Woman again. So listing will actually be pretty easy because it's actually only a 60 card set. So I should have like some, well, I guess this is opening. Um, I get, so I should have some pretty uh, cut to reverse flash again. Should have be able to just sort of build the quantities of this stuff and uh, and list them. So I mean, maximum I'm gonna have is 60 listings out of this. So I like that too. Here's one of the packs I was talking about. See, it's it's got like the Oshi part cut out of it, but I can feel that the cards are in there. So let's see which ones are in this random tampered pack. Bottom bottom part of the pack tampered. All right, we've got an Aquaman. Classic, seen that one before. Uh, ooh, a dark side, I like that. Superman enemy there. Riddler, modern day. So some, some ones we haven't seen yet. Ooh, Captain Boomerang as a foil, that looks cool. The blue, icy blue foil. A uh, Killer Croc, nice. Batman Silver Age, and this is the glossy. That's what I'm gonna call this style glossy because it's got the glossy finish on top versus these which are totally matte so this is the superman classic batwoman modern day Ooh, i like this flash classic with the red foil red and gold foil that's really nice um, and then a black suit batman which we, we saw the gold and black foil of that one earlier all right next so it's gonna take a while it'll be a lot of packs but uh I just wanted to show, you know, opening a good bag of these or so, so you had a fair idea of what was in them. You know, if you have a Menards near you, I guess I should kind of explain that. So Menards is like a, like a farm and fleet type store, or at least that's how it originated. And they generally sell like home repair type stuff. So it's kind of like a Home Depot or a Lowe's or any of those. Um, if you don't have one in your area, that's what Menards is. So they sell lumber and stuff for plants and tools and um, 
you know, home good type stuff. And then they have a good pet section in there and they sell paint and carpeting and tiling and bath fixtures and lighting stuff and um, like wiring and things like that. So that's what that store is. So that's why I said it was weird that this is where I bought these because they're not normally known for their toys. All right, here's Captain Boomerang. Now, one thing I did find out, because I, I had to talk to this employees at this last store for quite a while, um, they actually ordered these back in February, or they came in stock in February, I guess. So these had been sitting there for a bit. Um, in retail space, you know, anything from February, March, April, May, now June, I mean, you're almost, you're almost at a six month age point. They generally just try to get rid of it at that point. But if you do have a uh, Menards and you want to find these, uh, where I found them at the other stores, uh, the first stores were in the, the little, there's a little toy section in the front where there's all like the pool stuff, pool toys and that. There's a just like a regular toy section. And there's a little card section. So there's a couple little Pokemon box packs and like box set things and that kind of stuff. And I found them in there and it's just those cardboard, you know, racks on a shelf. And they should have a, a red $1 ticket underneath for the clearance price. All right, so another black suit Superman. It's another classic Joker. Um, another, actually, is this different than the other one? I think this is the same one. New 52 Aquaman foil. Cyborg. Another New 52 Wonder Woman. Another modern day. Batwoman, Flash Classic, and another black suit, gold and black, Batman foil, and a classic Superman. So we're about four or five packs in now and have not pulled another black atom, so it'll be interesting to see how rare those really are. And we haven't pulled the black atom Oshi either. I'd be happy with either one really in any of these packs. Oh, we got another Batman classic. You can see this here. I think it's the same as the other one. Yeah. So, so I'm going to end up with a pile of these little, they remind me of like the character erasers when I was a kid and they do actually have a hole in the bottom, like pencil topper hole, uh, which is kind of fun. So you could use them for that too. All right, next pack. I don't think you guys care if I hold them hold them down off the camera or, or not. This isn't really a break or anything. Uh, Captain Boomerang again. And a black suit. Superman. I really want a foil joker. I think the foil jokers would look cool. Here's a joker. Just a base one. Another one of those Aquaman foil. Cyborg 52. Wonder Woman 52. We're going to have a lot of this Wonder Woman, that's for sure. Batwoman. A lot of Batwoman, too. Flash, classic. Another foil, black and gold, black suit, Batman. And a classic Superman. These almost seem like a repeat pack. Like, it feels like they're a bit of, um, like the allocation is preset, if that makes sense. So, if you get those cards in one pack, you'll get them in another pack. And exactly same, the exact same Ushi too, the little Batman. Now, getting Batman to anything is never a bad thing. There's always a market for Batman stuff. Let's start with the Ushi first on this one. Just for fun. We got another one of those phasing guys. And I don't know how many different Oshis there are. It doesn't really say. How many Oshis there are. But so there's a game you can play with it. So it's like a paper, rock, scissors. It's scissors beats paper, paper beats rock, rock beats scissors. So I'm not, I don't know, don't know exactly what that means. Oh, I get it, because the card has like a, so like this card has a, is that a fist? Yeah, so that must be, um, like here's the Batman, has the scissors on it. See the scissor fingers, cyborg's fingers up there? So you must play that card, and then if it's whichever one it is, whichever one wins, you must get that card. So really simple. 
gameplay at least. If anyone is looking for them for the gameplay. They do make a Harry Potter um, version and a Marvel version, but I haven't found those anywhere. All they have is these DC ones. Hal Jordan. Riddler Classic. Penguin Classic. Reverse Flash Foil. Classic Clark Kent. And here's a classic Flash, the other one. Uh, purple Suit Catwoman. Wonder Woman 52. Ooh, I like, like this one. The Lex Luthor Hologram Foil. And then a Silver Age Batman. Let's dig down a little bit and see if maybe we can get a little bit different variety in a pack. And I'm just getting a little too inside the same spot here. I don't think these would have been pre-searched. I mean, they're not that hot in value. Uh, I got another little reverse flash. So I got a few of those now too. Um, and I don't know that you would could search for the Black Adam. Well, if you can search for the Black Adam, obviously, if somebody did that, they didn't do a good job because my very first pack had about the Black Adam in it, so. All right, we got Shazam. Batman White Lantern, uh, Black Suit Superman, so we're going to see, we've seen this pack before, Cyborg Foil, the Aquaman Classic, Superman Classic, Lex Hologram, Oop. Batman Silver Age, I can't, I can't imagine we would have seen a whole set by now, uh, Purple Suit Catwoman, Sl Definitely way miscut. <laughs> it should be cut down here, and it doesn't even have the gameplay parts on top. So that's all right. I like variants, especially when I'm listing multiples of the same thing. It's nice to see, like, oh, this, these are all clean cut, and this one is miscut. Might get an extra buyer for it. Let's try this one. And then maybe we'll try to pack out of another bag. Oh, we did it. We did it on the Oshi side. We got the gold black Adam. Pretty cool. It's got, you know, gold tone to the cape and the <laughs> accents on the suit. It actually painted pretty well. I was thinking they'd be kind of goofy. I was really surprised to see that those had any value because they just seemed like goofy little rubber toys, but uh, I've seen some of them sell pretty good, so. I still want to ship them all individually, so I'm thinking I'll probably do, uh, like, lots. You know, especially because, like, I got, like, three of these already. I mean, I might end up with 15 or 20 of them, so I might as well do, like, I don't know, I'll do teams lots or a bunch of Batmans together or something like that. I don't know. Cyborg. This one's going to have different cards in it. Green Arrow. Nice. We haven't seen that one yet. Uh, Dark Side. I think we saw the foil one before. Oh, Killer Croc foil. I like that. Killer Croc hologram. It's pretty cool. Uh, Captain Boomerang. Seen him before. Black Suit Batman. Wonder Woman 52. She's in like every pack. Lex hologram. And then, ooh, Silver Age Batman foil. I like that. With the blue. Nice. And then a purple suit cat one. All right, so we had some decent variety in that one. So I don't know if that's always going to be the pack that has the Black Adam, if the Black Adam's more random than the cards are. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh, we got a Wonder Woman. We haven't had that one yet. Wonder Woman and Ushi. I kind of like opening the Ushis first because it sort of clues me in if the cards are going to be different or not. It makes it a little more exciting. Opening the same pack. 20 times is, I mean, it's fine for sales, but it's not very fun. All right, here's our Killer Croc again, just the base this time. Oops. And Penguin Classic, but this one has is the borderless one, and it's got the shiny on it, so different than the other penguins we've seen. Classic Green Arrow. I think that one's a little different base, too. Oh, look at that Clark Kent foil. That's awesome. Love that. 
uh, reverse flash. So these these get me excited. I like stuff like this. Um, the different version of oh no, that's the same purple suit. I think uh, black suit Batman, classic Superman. This should be a different foil this time. Batwoman modern day. Very cool with the red foil and then flash classic. So at least we're seeing a few different different packs. I like I said, I, the only thing I don't know about. Uh, we know there's 60 different cards, but I don't know how many Yoshis there are. Well, here's a different Batman. This is the black suit Batman. So see, that's what I would do. I'd pack like a set of the Batmans together or something. I think that would be a good way to sell those. Uh, make it easier for me and um, save on shipping and all that good stuff. So I think that'd be the way to go on those. Maybe sell the Black Adam separately since they're the super rare one. All right, Aquaman, Dark Side. This should be, in theory, be a different pack since we have the Black Super or Black Batman this time. Uh, Riddler, Modern Day. Oops. And then we got the foil Captain Boomerang. Seen that one before. Killer Croc. Batman Silver Age. I don't know if we've seen the matte version of this. Yeah, we did have the foil a little bit ago. Classic Superman. Obviously the foils, you know, will go for more. Um, here's a flash foil. And look at how nice they look. I, I think they're they're pretty well done for what they are. Oh, last one is Black Suit Batman, by the way. Let's skip over that one. It's not a foil. It's not important, right? All right, let's. Try, we'll try one more out of this bag and then maybe we'll hit the other bag and see if, oh, we got another Black Adam, super rare, Wuxi. That's good. I gotta pull a couple of those already. You just don't wanna, like, I don't think the super rares are hugely important in something like this, but you'd hate to buy this many and get totally skunked on it and not get any of the super rares. At least I would, so. Now, in theory, we, these should be cards we've seen already, but. All right, so we've got Cyborg, Green Arrow, Dark Side. There's that Foil Croc. Um, Boomerang, Batman. So you would know if the packs were tampered with uh, because you wouldn't get two foils in it. They would definitely take the foils. Wonder Woman 52, yeah. It must be the only Wonder Woman in the set. Same with Lex, it's the hologram. Uh, another Silver Age Batman foil, not a bad thing. And a Catwoman purple suit. Yeah, there's two different purple suit Catwomans. So that's the thing, like, there's multiples of each character, but there's some different versions, so that should help too. To keep the monotony down, because I don't know how many you're going to sell. Like, if somebody's going to come in and want quantity, I don't know if they're going to be grading them or not. Flash. Reverse. There should be a. Um, I would think there'd be a classic flash too. All right, Ooh, this kind of looks like a different pack. Let's see what it looks, what it says. Shazam, Batman, White Lantern. We saw that one a while ago. Superman, Black Suit, uh, Cyborg Foil, Aquaman Classic, Superman Classic, Luther Hologram. Silver Age Batman, and then another Catwoman purple suit foil. And uh, of course, a Wonder Woman 52. So I lied last time I said I was gonna go into the one of the other bags. So let's do that this time. Let's actually, let's pull a couple out of one of these ones where I still have the boxes of them. We'll pull a, maybe I'll pull one box worth of these out. And we can look at those. And then, uh, we can end this video because it's going to be re pretty repetitive after that. Alright, so that's the contents of, that I had in one of these boxes. Okay. So we'll start with Oshi first. I think that's kind of a fun way to do it. Another gold black atom. So they're, apparently those aren't that as rare. Not as rare as the cards. I don't know how much... 
Like I said, I don't know how much variety there is in those. It doesn't say anything about the Oshi selection. Um, so, all right, we've got, we'll kind of go through, maybe I'll just show the foils, hey? Or, or if I see anything new, I'll show you that. So we got another Killer Croc foil. Um, let's see, Wonder Woman 52. Here's another Batman Silver Age foil. Those, those are our two foils in that one. All right, next pack. But we did get, like I said, three of the Black M uh, Uchis so far, so that's good. Here's another Wonder Woman. Okay, let's see here. Gotta be really careful cutting these because there's not much space between the opening where the cards start and they're just cardboard for the most part. Um, so you don't want to cut them. All right, let's see. We got another one of those Clark Kent foils. I really like that one. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think we've seen all of the cards so far. Batwoman. Just get through this little stack here and see if we catch anything different. But getting quite a bit of repeat stuff now. Here's another reverse flash. I'm surprised they don't have a regular flash. Or at least if they have, I haven't I haven't seen that one yet, but I Seems to me like you wouldn't have just the alternate. Uh, another Hal Jordan foil. Saw that one a while ago. And then another Wonder Woman. I just, I like this one with the red, white, and blue. It just looks cool with the Wonder Woman colors. All right. Give me a different Oshi. Nope, another reverse flash. Let's see, so same thing, we got the Hal Jordan, and then we got the Wonder Woman. So the same exact foils, so allocated packs for sure. That has been proven now. Now one of those phaser guys, I can't remember his name right now. Should have probably looked him up ahead of time. He doesn't have a card in here. It's weird, he's, he's an Oshi in the back, but no card with him. I think they have cards of all the um, rubber guys in the packs. There's a reverse flash. Yeah, I've been, I don't know, I just really like them. I think they're cool, they're different. Didn't even know they existed. Probably a lot of other card collectors didn't. And uh, DC itself isn't, it's not, not nearly as good as Marvel, but there are certain characters that do very well. Batman and Superman stuff. And Wonder Woman is pretty easy money. There's another reverse flash. So yeah, I'm gonna have to lock some of that stuff up or I'm gonna be selling a reverse flash Oshi as well into uh, my retirement age. Okay, so if we got anything different in here, we got a foil cyborg and a foil purple suit Catwoman, so nope. We got two more from that box. We'll do those and see if so if we find anything new, another reverse flash. And we got a cyborg and a catwoman for our foils. All right, last one. Let's see what we got. I'd love to get another Black Adam card at least. Kind of weird, I got that in the first pack. I haven't seen one since and we've opened Probably a dozen packs or so, so apparently the card is harder to get than the Oshi. Even though that was the very first card I pulled. Um, so yep, same thing, we got another Cyborg and we got another Purple Suit Catwoman. So that's that, but I thought that'd be fun to show. Um, really cool buy, you know, if you're, if you're looking for something like that, maybe you have some in your area. None around here, but I'm all. <laughs> but anyway, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you. Please uh, thumbs up this video if you like it. Consider subscribing to the channel. Share it with someone you think might enjoy watching it. 
Ring that bell to be notified of any future videos. And remember, you can't sell what you don't list. We'll see you soon.